Every generation of motorcycles has seen various innovative features that have revolutionized human-machine interaction, making the experience more comfortable and safer. So what are the latest trends that are taking over the motorcycling world? There are many. Some of these new technologies are making motorcycles incredibly safe, so much so that you'd have to be stupid to crash on one of them. The rest are making bikes produce more power than ever. So we explore six of the coolest ones that are taking the motorcycling world by storm. V-configuration engines suffer from one problem, heat management. The rear bank of the engine gets the warm waft of the front bank without any significant direct airflow. And this is not only bad for the engine, but also for riders. They cook your thighs in traffic. To solve this, manufacturers have started using cylinder deactivation in their big bore V-format engines. Harley-Davidson introduced its engine idle temperature management system in 2008, followed by Indian in 2018. But Ducati seems to have nailed this tech. Ducati uses this tech on its V4 engines, effectively switching off the rear cylinder so the heat is managed. But as a side effect, the bike also runs much cleaner. For example, the 1,158cc Gran Turismo engine effectively turns into a 579cc parallel twin when the system is activated. At first, this tech was limited to idle, but is now extended to low speed or low throttle riding. It won't be long before this tech makes its way into most brands' portfolios. Let's be honest, EV motorcycles lack appeal and character and the battery production process isn't exactly eco-friendly. So, long-range, high-performance EV motorcycles are still a pipe dream. Fortunately, many manufacturers are experimenting with alternative powertrains. The first alternative is hydrogen-powered combustion engines that work much like gas engines. They are a lot cleaner than gas-powered engines, but they haven't become a concrete reality just yet. Although the Japanese Big Four are working together to develop a hydrogen small mobility engine for motorcycles, what has become a reality is the midway point between EVs and internal combustion engines, called hybrid engines. Kawasaki's Z7 Hybrid and Ninja 7 Hybrid use a sub-400cc parallel twin paired with an electric motor to produce power figures similar to that of a middleweight motorcycle while being far cleaner and easier to live with. Hopefully, we will see more hybrid motorcycles soon. Radar-equipped motorcycles only reached us a couple of years ago, but they have grown significantly in popularity. These systems include blind spot detection, adaptive cruise control, collision warning, and emergency braking. This tech makes the riding experience comfortable and safe to a terrific extent, and if it is implemented well on motorcycles, it has the potential to transform motorcycle safety. In 2021, Ducati was the first motorcycle company to introduce this technology in its Multistrada V4. Later, other manufacturers also joined the radar war. The first ever IMU inertial measurement unit was introduced in 2007 in the Ducati 1098, which handled traction control, but the system was fairly crude at the time. Today, the scenario is completely different. Six-axis IMU systems have become advanced and are much more affordable, allowing manufacturers to implement them even in sub-400cc motorcycles, like the KTM 390 Adventure. These IMU systems can handle various safety features like lean-sensitive ABS, traction control, wheelie control, rear wheel lift mitigation, and more. The modern IMU is a cornerstone of motorcycle safety. Now, almost every major bike manufacturer includes this technology in their motorcycles. Ride-by-wire throttle control is another innovative technology, changing how motorcycles are ridden. This system replaces traditional mechanical throttle cables with electronic sensors and actuators. In 2006, motorcycle technology companies made an effort to decrease fuel emissions. The new ride-by-wire technology eliminated the cable between the accelerator and the throttle. Instead, the electronic throttle senses the movement of the accelerator, sending a signal to the butterfly valve. Fuel sensors receive information from the throttle and current speed to calculate the exact amount of fuel needed to create the right amount of power. The new technology strategically speeds up and releases the throttle for smooth acceleration and more control over fuel consumption. The technology was originally made for racing bikes with larger, more powerful engines. 
Now the technology is implemented into smaller engines too. One of the cleverest innovations in recent memory, ARH. The Harley-Davidson's optional adaptive ride height feature for the all-new Pan America 1250 Special and above can automatically transition the motorcycle between a lowered stopped position and a preset rolling ride height, reducing the seat height when stationary from 1 to 2 inches. The lowering total is determined by the Showa Rear Shock's automatically selectable preload, which alters ride height when underway. ARH does not affect suspension travel or ride quality and provides selectable sub-modes to tailor how quickly the linkage-based rear suspension lowers, the delay to when the lowering begins, or a locked mode for off-road riding.